bring in the loafers. I'm pulling it off my foot. <laughs> Today we're talking about Bass Weegins. Bass Weegin. The Bass Weegin is actually the original loafer. It was introduced in 1939 and then quickly became a, a major staple on college campuses. So, you know, you'll see like old photos of Ivy League kids like walking around and they're all wearing Bass Weegins. Um, same goes for like JFK and James Dean. It's 2018. On some level, the Bass Weegin is still hotter than ever. I think it's a shoe that's like, had many iterations and has culturally been relevant like time and time and time again. Which I think is why it's kind of cool right now in this era of just like style mashup. We call it the wild style era. The more you mix things together, the more interesting it gets. And to me, this shoe sort of represents that idea. Why is it called a loafer? It's an extremely lazy shoe. If you're an extremely lazy human being, you can actually put a loafer on with just about anything and look good. How many pairs of loafers do I own? I own more than 10 and less than 100. Funny story, I just got these loafers last week. This is my first pair of loafers. These are baby's first loafers. Loafers are great, especially with like what I'm wearing right now because I have on a pair of sweatpants, right? But if you can pull it off, it's a pair of sweatpants that can work with a pair of loafers. They make everything else look a little dressier. They take an outfit like this and they make it look like I tried a little bit, but I can also break these out with a suit and it makes the suit look a little bit less stuffy. Most of the time they're super comfortable and they're really good to fly in because you can slip them on, slip them off when you're going through TSA. Shout out to the hardworking people at TSA. I wear them just like I would a pair of Vans or Converse or Stan Smiths. To me, it's like a super casual shoe. Like beat them around, wear them with Levi's, wear them with shorts. The more you wear them in, the better they get, I think. It looks really nice, but if you beat it up, it like also looks pretty dope. I'll wear them for like six months and like not shine them and they look like super gnarly and crazy. And then I'll get them shined and they can like, you know, I could wear them to like a wedding or something. These Bass Weegin babies only sent me back $110, which is nice. That's a bargain price. I mean, it's hard to find a really good quality hard bottom shoe. The perfect marriage of a thing to me is like the most quality that you can get for the lowest price. And then you find a few things that are in that like perfect zone. And that's what Weegins have always been. It's also like a price where you could just, you know, you buy a pair, you run them into the ground, you just buy another pair. When it comes to socks and loafers, uh, you should definitely never wear no-show socks. That's the only like hard and fast rule. I'm actually wearing socks with these. They're no-shows. No-show socks are, are just evil. No-show socks are bogus. It's pretty easy to wear them without socks, and you, know, you don't get blisters, it doesn't get too hot, but I go back and forth. I'm definitely pro socks when it comes to loafers. I don't mind you getting a little crazy with your sock choices. Going to the club or something and you bring some periwinkle socks or something with some loafers, I support that energy. People call them penny loafers because for some reason on college campuses there was a trend of putting pennies in the little coin slot here, I guess. How do I feel about people shoving a penny into the loafers? It's not really my vibe. I opt out penny-wise. Especially with the black and white because you get that pop of white in that slot right there, which is kind of like to me makes it. That's what you want. The thing that I've heard that people do is they try to get pennies from their birth year. I am down with the penny trend, but I can't find pennies from 1993. So if you have any, like mail them to me or something. I wouldn't put a penny in the penny loafers because I don't, you know, as a minimalist uh, and a futurist, I don't believe in pennies. To me, loafers are like a wardrobe staple. I own a bunch. They go with anything you wear, any type of occasion, any type of wardrobe. These take a low key outfit and lift it up. They take a high key outfit and chill it out. I think people who aren't like super style obsessed, they get the beauty of loafers. Loafers are basically the, the sort of optimal summer shoe. What I like to do is actually wear them with bathing suits and stuff. Do not be afraid of wearing your bass regions to the beach. They'll get sandy, you'll never be able to get the sand out, but that's just the way it is. A lot of guys may already own a pair of loafers or a pair of boat shoes, but I would say try the black and white, try something different, try a different color, try a different fabric, and wear them with something you never thought you'd wear loafers with, and that's like, that's my style tip right there. Wear loafers with something that you totally wouldn't think you'd ever wear loafers with.